They say nothing lasts forever. Even fame is fleeting. But one thing that looks like it's here to stay is the intersection of the entertainment and sports worlds at the Super Bowl. Oh my God, is it? Yes, it is. Celebrities in the NFL just seem to go together. Beautiful. Oh, was that a thing of beauty? What a pass, what a play, what a grab. Oh, I'm proud of you, buddy. Hey, you got a big movie coming out now. You can enjoy it. Holy smoke! Uh, man, I've been to some great ones, you know. I've been to uh, when Brett Favre and Elway went at it, <laughs> doing the, the 360. I went to the second Giants-Patriots game. It's a miracle. I gotta see this again. The Ravens. Why does the clock stop? It's crazy, the lights went out in this Super Bowl last year. Wilson, quick throw, and it's good. intercepted! A lot of people say, you know, I'd rather watch it on TV. You get to see the commercials, you get to have. Nah, if you ever went, you always want to go back. Sure, there's drawbacks. Admiring fans will ogle the big shots or try to take selfies with stars like Breaking Bad's Aaron Paul. But he wouldn't have it any other way. The feeling being there is like um, nothing compares to it. He and his wife have gone to the past six Super Bowls. If their team isn't in it, they find another team to make their own. I'm a Giants fan. During the regular season, I could care less about any other team other than the Giants. Go Giants. Um, but if, you know, if they don't make it into the playoffs, which they always do, um, that's not true, but um, uh, we start to gravitate towards a certain you know, a certain team, and, um, and then we, we become diehard. Yeah, for some reason, every year we go, our team loses. Um, the previous year, we were going for the Broncos. They were devastated, I mean, from the, from the first play. This is gonna cost the Broncos two points. Last year, he went from rooting against the Seahawks to cheering them on. Touchdown, Seahawks! Unaware, our cameras had found him. Oh, man. Right, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna rewind this to the beginning, pump up the volume, and... I'm sure there's a lot of <laughs> in there. All right, so were you at all aware that you were being... Thinking? No. No. Wow. I'm really feeling all of those emotions once again. So thank you. Russell, empty backfield. Four-man rush this time. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. He didn't, don't overthrow him. Russell's gonna lay it up over the top this time. Curtis reaching up, ball slapped. He's got it. He's caught it! Catch by Curse on the carom. A remarkable grab by Jermaine Curse. Oh no, look at how happy my wife is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh look at us. Oh, look at her. Look how sweet she is. We are like, okay, victory is in sight. Look at her precious angelic face. Her dreams are about to just be crushed. He's run the ball well. Right now, he's in the tail of the eye behind Tukuafu with a tight slot to the right side. Russell under center. He hands to Lynch. He goes left. He pounds it down to the one. Oh, my God. Whenever you go to the Super Bowl, everyone that is in your general vicinity, you all become very close. Oh, man, we are. Oh, this is so devastating. Look at, look at the excitement. Look at my wife. From the one after the four yard run by Marshawn Lynch. Oh, Clock's wow. Still moving down to 36. Patriots have two timeouts. Oh, wow. Russell Look at is this. taking his time. Second my, down and my, goal from the one. My, Shifts my ball over to the left side. Sweating. Lynch in the backfield. Russell looks, throws inside. Oh, my God. It's picked off at the goal line. It's picked off by Butler. Intended for Lockett. That is the one thing we do not do. You have, look at how upset this guy is in the front. And his wife's so excited. The late flag comes down. Oh my word. That's the one thing you don't do is throw it. And the 12s are just They're on stunned. the one yard line, as why? Oh my God. Oh my, oh my, the Patriots. <laughs> look at me. I'm devastated. All the way to the oh, my heart the is breaking. Is you guys are just torturing me now. 
And he just drove on the slant and made the catch on the football as opposed to just knocking They were on the one-yard line, yes. And yes, uh, they were. The Look at my wife. Oh, Look at her. my word. Her dreams the interception all has shattered. Been <laughs> Look at how sad everyone is. After the interception. Damn it. Why? New England keeps the ball. First down. It's got to be one of the dumbest calls offensively in Super Bowl history. What were you, you thinking? Were on the one yard line. Oh and my you God. 24. And you drop back pass. And my dad keeps telling me, you know, me? that was actually a and smart play. play. But he's a diehard Patriots that. fan. Yeah, of course, it's a smart you play. I love you, Dad, but no, it was not a smart play. Uh, look at how sad this guy is. One He's last just... time. 18 seconds on the clock. Stork snaps it to Brady, who takes the knee. And the New England Patriots are on the I'm talking to nobody. I'm just talking to myself. No one's listening to me. Our heart is, is a little broken. <laughs> I mean, you don't do that. You don't, uh, man. Despite the heartbreak, Paul is still drawn to America's biggest spectacle. The energy in that stadium, the energy in the, in the city is like nothing else. You know, going to a Super Bowl, watching grown men hugging each other and crying on each other's shoulders out of excitement. Oh my God! We did it, John! Or out of sadness. Uh, or just pure passion, like you're seeing from my uh, my idiotic self there. Um, it's just like nothing else. I mean, it's undescribable. So it uh, doesn't even matter if you're a fan of the game, a fan of the teams that are playing. It's just something very um, magical about the, uh, you know, those few hours.